Okay, so before we begin with introduction for MEDAS Civil, I'll share a brief history about MEDAS. So MEDAS product development started inside this uh, inside a POSCO company that's a steel construction major in Korea and uh, MEDAS was established in India in February 2008. Uh, it has offices in five countries with HQ being in Seoul and the presence in over 40 countries. So this is a, the family of programs. So MIDAS gives program for structural engineering that is MIDAS Gen being the major one in building engineering. Uh, MIDAS Civil being the main software for civil engineering with specialty for which is uh, bridge engineering. For geotechnical we have uh, MIDAS GTS and uh, for mechanical engineering also softwares are available by MIDAS. So coming to the gist of today's topic, why MEDAS Civil? Okay. So MEDAS Civil is a 3D FAM software for bridge and civil structures. Basically it can handle structures from simple static analysis to advanced analysis such as construction stage analysis, dynamic nonlinear analysis, pre-stress girder design, as well as structures like integral bridges, tunnel structures and so on. In the following slides I will talk about the major capabilities and functionalities of MEDAS Civil. So what kind of bridges can MEDAS Civil handle? So MEDAS Civil can handle conventional bridges like culvert, frame bridges, slab, pre-crust, uh, gutter bridges, integral bridges. Besides that it can handle advanced constructions like uh, balanced cantilever bridge, incremental launching bridge, moving scaffolding bridges. It can also handle cable stay bridges, extra dose bridges and suspension bridges for which there are special wizards in the software. So in this presentation I will take you to a general introduction of MEDASIL. We will see some of the features which make it a very special software when it comes to bridge engineering. Uh, then there will be a short demonstration for the software and towards the end we will have a Q&A session as well. So these are the features or these are the various aspects that would be covered today. So beginning with the uniqueness in modeling and analysis features. So this particular tab gives access to various wizards that could be accessed in Meta Civil for complex structures, construction stages and these could be done in a very simple and error free way. Uh, some of the wizards uh, which are available are the ILM that is incremental launching wizard, the FCM free cantilever method wizard, moving scaffolding system wizard and FSM that is full staging construction wizard. Besides that RSI and uh, grillage analysis for uh, composite bridge is also available. So for segmental bridges, the balanced cantilever bridge, uh, I'll be making a short demo for this particular method at the end. This could be used to create the FCM bridge very easily with just few inputs. As you might have noticed in the animation, that was the construction stage model for the FCM bridge. Again have a look at the animation. So with construction stage analysis you might have noticed how the boundary conditions were changing. That illustrated the incremental launching method. Similarly movable scaffolding and full, uh, uh, full staging method wizards are also available. Now we might wonder if wizards could deal with different kinds of construction situations. Yes, of course some non-typical types cannot be covered over here but then that's why it is possible to create construction process manually and easily.
using PSC uh, bridge wizard, effective width uh, factor could be calculated automatically. By automatic cal calculation of effective width section properties, modeling time is significantly reduced. This effective width calculation is based on ASHTO LRFD. Also, tapered sections could automatically be generated from the wizard. Grillage model wizard could be used for automatic generation of grillage modeling for box girder. Moving load analysis could also simply be performed by just selecting the code, defining the lanes, selecting the vehicles and giving the load combinations. The moving load tracer feature could be used to locate the vehicle positions which give critical resist, uh, reaction or critical uh, bending moments and axial forces. These could be converted into static load and applied to the structure to obtain various concurrent forces. Automatic transverse analysis for a segmental bridge is also possible. So say if this is the segmental bridge and if automatic transverse analysis wizard is used on this, then for the highlighted section, this kind of transverse model is generated and the vehicle is automatically run in transverse direction for this particular uh, section. So now with the specialization, on the high-end analysis. So we are already familiar with the bridge wizards for modeling of segmental bridges. Those wizards along with highly accurate construction stage analysis make Midas Civil one-stop solution for segmental bridges and construction stage bridges. The tendon time dependent loss graph can be obtained easily by after performing the analysis and losses are provided in tabular format as well as in graphical format. And these losses are for creep, shrinkage, uh, elastic deformation, relaxation. For FCM bridge, FCM camber could be found out at different construction stages. As noticed on the table at the bottom left, what camber correction needs to be provided at different construction stages is shown in tabular format. And to the right, the camber control graph is there. Similarly, for ILM bridges, during construction, it is important to keep a check on the nose tip deflection. So this animation shows how the bending moment is varying with the progression in the construction stages for the ILM bridge. This is the minimum bending moment envelope and maximum bending moment envelope. The time dependent properties could be defined based on the various codes that are available in the software, which cover Indian code CB, FIP, European, Korean, as well as Japanese codes. And these are linked to apply the behavior to particular material type. The software also provides several design spectrums based on various codes as shown on the right. And model combination and responses could be added. Time histories could be applied to check the behavior of the structure under some particular earthquake. Nonlinear analysis could also be performed, different dampers and Base isolators, etc., could be applied to the structure. There are inbuilt features to apply these. So, these are the various time histories that are available within the software itself. You could simply select those and generate the earthquake acceleration record. Uh, besides that, the software also has a feature for pushover analysis. and evaluation of structure to find the performance point. We can see the status of hinges and evaluate the structure using design spectral function in order to define the performance point. Uh, generate uh, useful graphs like displacement response etc. to the seismic waves.
Besides this, uh, plastic analysis, large displacement analysis, fiber material analysis, material nonlinear analysis are also possible in the software. Uh, now on with the productivity and ease of use to reduce the work time. That is the main aim. So this is the general user interface for Meda Civil. Uh, at the top, various wizards and functions could be accessed. The work tree towards the left of the screen that is uh, used to see what all uh, functions are applied within the software, what elements have been created, what loads have been applied to those. These all could be checked in the work tree as well as edited easily over there. The tables that are generated are Excel compatible. You can directly copy and paste it in the Excel itself. Besides that, it has a strong graphic display. Uh, it could be seen that uh, stresses, high concentrated region and less stresses region could be easily seen. The plate cutting moment diagrams are shown. The deformed shape is also visible for several loads that are acting on the structure. Now, Midas has a multi-frontal server and latest analysis algorithm for accurate and practical analysis result. They have expert programmers who have given us separate engine for solver and graphics. Intuitive user interface, contemporary computer graphics and substantially fast solver speed and fast representation in analysis results and dynamic rotation as well. The dynamic report could be generated in this. Now what happens is after a model is made, its analysis is performed, what at the end needs to be submitted to the client is the uh, report. So that report could be generated within the software itself wherein you can add images, tables, material properties, section properties easily. You could write your own data if you want in the Word document which is in the software itself and the entire report is generated. Uh, now say once the entire report is generated, if there is a minor change in the model, okay, then the entire report need not be regenerated. What could be done is you just have to select from within the software itself that you need to regenerate the report and what section needs to be regenerated. The so software will automatically create the entire report again. You just need to drag and drop the images as shown over here and the report would be generated in the Word. So now coming on to practical analysis and design process. So the software has several inbuilt database sections for composite sections, PSC sections plus uh, simple uh, minor entering minor simple values could you could easily generate these sections within the software. Certain sections obviously cannot be generated by simple inputs. So for those kind of sections, uh, what you need is a DXF file, AutoCAD DXF file, and that could be imported in section property calculator, uh, calculator within MIDAS, and then that irregular section could be used in the software. As it could be noted, these are the figures after the analysis has been performed. Uh, Midas Civil also has a tendon profile generator. So if you have a tendon profile in AutoCAD DXF format, then you can import it in Midas model and it could be applied to the model. A PSC design is possible for Ashto, LRFD and Euro codes for all types of PSC cross sections. You could check the stresses, crack width, flexural strength, shear strength, as well as torsional strength. The report could be viewed in table format within Medas itself as well as Excel report could be generated. Design is possible for reinforced concrete as well as steel sections. And composite plate girder analysis and design is also possible for Eurocode. With similar result tables. So now moving on to the live demo.
uh, what I'll do is I'll generate just the FCM bridge. So I have uh, created a base model in which I have defined the material properties. Say for M50, you just have to select the code and select the concrete from the database and that material property could be assigned. Similarly, I have defined just one peer section. So Medasivil has several sections which could be assigned. So SRC sections, combined sections, as shown before PSC sections wherein some values need to be given to generate the PSC type section. Tapering is also possible and so are composite sections as well as steel girders. Okay, so for this base model, let us go to the FCM wizard. So in structures, say FCM bridge and for now I will be importing a wizard file. Okay, so for the FCM wizard, the material have been selected. I have defined the PR section that was shown before. The stage duration, construction stage duration is entered. Then the PR table placement is done. How I want the section to be near the PR. Okay, then what is the segment length for the uh, left hand uh, left hand region, the right hand region? then what are the segments in the zone 1 as shown in the figure and zone 2 these need to be entered then these are the sectional dimensions uh, you could enter these dimensions yourself or you could import from uh, the uh, if it's one cell or two cell or if you can import from the uh, already defined sections as well so in this case we will be keeping the values ourselves as we have not defined other sections and you can give the tendons over here as well. You could select where what number of tendons are there and accordingly you just need to enter the data and click OK. So once this is done it takes some, uh, some time but the entire model with the construction stages with the tendon profiles with the wet concrete load and everything is generated. As you can see over here, this entire model with 25 construction stages. First, second, you can see how the stages are progressing. So this way with just a couple of clicks, the entire model is generated. Several structure groups, load groups have been created and with just a tendon property and simple clicks 256 tendon profiles have been generated for the entire model. Okay, So proceeding with the presentation. reliability now me being a Midas engineer I would say what all features and everything is available with Midas but how and where it has been used will give you a better confidence in the software so we have chosen a couple of examples so these are the certain bridges that will be showing first off these are our already existing clients big names like Acom, LBG, Fcons are already our clients. Besides this, Medas is also used in several institutes. Practically, this has been applied for several bridges. You could see for suspension bridge, cable stay bridge, and arch bridges that have already been created using Midas Civil. The US 17 Wilmington bypass in US as well as bridge in Mexico, Romania, Newer Bridge UK. This 
was analyzed and designed but uh, due to certain contractual issues this was not made then bridges in belgium the sutong bridge in china stone cutters bridge in hong kong now midas has more than 100 developers and thousands of regression test models are made and midas makes sure that there is quality maintained in its product and it's very accurate convenient and practical solution for the users however if you still suspect that there is some error or problem with the software and verification of midas results then you could inform our technical support who are available all around there for help okay so thank you very much for attending to us now if